Go. Hi, everybody. I'm Chris. And I'm Nettie. And welcome to our outdoor kitchen. <laughs> As promised, I mentioned to a lot of the family and friends that I was going to show you the way we make the Pong Lao. So follow me. Without further ado, the Pong Lao. Look at that. Many different sizes and colors and shapes in there. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how to catch these pesky critters. It's a, uh, it's a time-honored and fun tradition to get out with your friends and your family and uh, get out there and do your thing, get a little bit dirty, but most especially because it's uh, great bonding. So, um, how to catch a pongo? Well, let me start with uh, a safety brief. First of all, you must make sure that you uh, beware of the pincher. Yeah, they, uh, they can be pretty ornery. And if ever you get um, hit by one of these, you wanna make sure that you get it um, on this side because when he closes it down on you, uh, it really won't hurt you. But if you get it on the small end over here on my right side, then of course uh, you're going to get hurt. Okay? So catching the pongla. Of course you're gonna need a light and you're gonna need to be in the jungle, but when these guys are out and about, they can be pretty, uh, they can be pretty fast. So of course you gotta locate the pong lao, go up to the pong lao, and catch the pong lao. Uh, there's different ways of, um, many different ways that family and friends catch the pong lao. Mine is basically pushing down on the shell itself, and then coming around and holding the pinchers. I'm picking it up and putting it into your sack. Like this guy, this is a nice medium sized crab. It is a Pongno uh, Etsum because the, uh, the claws are crooked here. And there is the Pongno Tunas, which I will show you uh, very shortly. This is a male because of the, uh, the breastplate here it is fairly, fairly narrow. Let's see if we can't find something else. Put this guy over here. And, uh, this guy here is Pung Lok Tunis because his pinchers are pretty much straight. You can tell there, no matter where you get caught in these guys, uh, you're going to get hurt. The bigger the crab, the harder it'll hurt with these guys. And uh, the smaller the crab, the closer it will close around your fingers. This one is also a male. You'll notice that based on the shell, he's a little bit more purple than the other guy. So when catching these guys, they will always find some way to get up and try to get away from you. You just need to press down on him like I told you from the very top and secure your animal. Just like that. This guy over here. Funny story, uh, Dad and I went around uh, one, oh, several years ago, our last time that we were in the jungle, and uh, we lifted up this piece of tin that flew away during the storm, and underneath it there must have been at least 10, 10 crabs, and uh, you should have seen the fun that we were having. Uh, that old guy down there with me, uh, he thought he was pretty good, but uh, that's another story. Tomorrow, when we start, uh, we're going to take this up to mom's house because, of course, we're going to, we're going to uh, kill the crabs, and we're going to clean the crabs, and we're going to cook the crabs, and then we're going to eat the crabs. Right, honey? Yes. <laughs> okay. So for now, good night, and we will uh, see you in the morning. Good night. Good night.